What, what I want to talk about very uh, briefly uh, today is, is uh, introduce the issue of genetically modified, genetically engineered rice um, in the context of what it means for agricultural workers. Now, there are many other implications or impacts of genetically modified rice, but I want to try to bring it back to a very uh, narrow focus on what it might mean for agricultural workers. Okay, so I'll just introduce what is what are GMO rice varieties that exist in the world today that are under development. Uh, those that have been released into the environment, those that are and are out of control, and I'll explain uh, how that why that happened. About the GMO rice that ha has contaminated the fields, farms, and the food supply by being released. Uh, into the environment, and then bring all that to why agricultural workers should be very concerned about this and the risks they face, and then conclude about rice, the most important staple food crop in the world, now being under threat. Okay. So I think it's important to be clear of what GMO rice is really being developed and tested and what is not, because there's a the discussion, especially in South Asia, has been dominated by the golden rice discussion about a vitamin A enriched rice. And this is part of the propaganda um, of the corporations that are promoting GMO technologies, GMO crops. They're trying to convince us we need GMO rice for nutritional reasons. To solve the hunger problem, for example. This is the myth. But actually, golden rice is nowhere near being developed. It's a myth, a corporate myth. And they've had a lot of accidents and mistakes with golden rice. Because genetically engineering, the technology of genetic engineering is a very old technology. It's not a new technology. It is a technology based on the science of the 1950s and 60s and has not developed since then. Many new scientific discoveries since then have not been included in consideration. This is a very important point, and I can explain later why. I mean, it's a very bad, old-fashioned, outdated technology causing unintended consequences, accidents that are very costly to us. The GMO rice that is closest to reality is the herbicide tolerant GMO rice. GMO rice that is genetically engineered so that when you apply a certain herbicide, the herbicide will kill everything else except that rice. And of course it will kill every other rice that is not herbicide tolerant. The two herbicides, glyphosate, which as you know, it's the same as Roundup from Monsanto, that's glyphosate, which is used on Roundup ready corn, maize, and Roundup ready soy. So they're developing a glyphosate, Monsanto, there's Roundup ready logo, developing a glyphosate tolerant rice. Bayer, the German company, Bayer Crop Science, which bought the company Aventus, Bayer Crop Science is developing the glufosinate ammonium tolerant rice. And glyphosate ammonium, ammonium is also um, a very powerful herbicide. So the idea is you genetically engineer the rice. The brand name of Bayer's glyphosate ammonium is called Liberty. Okay, Liberty or Basta. So the genetically engineered rice is called Liberty Link. This is rice linked to the herbicide. You can spray this herbicide on this GMO rice. It will kill everything but that rice. That's the purpose. Now, Bayer's Liberty Link Glyphosate and Ammonium Herbicide Tolerant Rice, there are three lines, three varieties of this. Uh, Liberty Link Rice 06, Liberty Link Rice 62, and Liberty Link Rice 601. The first two, 06 and 62, were already approved for commercial growing in the United States in the year 2000, eight years ago, but has never been grown. The reason it has never been grown in the United States commercially is because 
it was not permitted for use in food in the European Union. And farmers were worried, or well, the company was worried, that farmers could not buy this and grow this if they thought it could not be exported to Europe in future. So it's actually the first commercial, commercially approved GMO rice in the world is this in the United States, but not yet commercially grown. Two weeks ago, the European Union approved this two GMO rice for import, for use in human consumption and feed. So in planting season 2009, it will be planted across the United States. And that will be the first legal commercial planting of GMO rice in the world from next year. Okay, thanks. The second type is the insect resistant GMO rice. And I think many of you are familiar with BT cotton. Okay, very familiar with BT cotton. The most common uh, GMO rice under development today is BT rice resistant to stem borers. It's mainly meant they insert the BT gene into the rice mainly to target the yellow stem borer. But it will also kill the other, the striped, the pink and so on stem borers. The second type of GMO rice under development is uh, one that is resistant to, to the brown plant hopper. Okay, which causes that hopper burn that uh, destruction of the crop. So just quickly, there's your stem borer. I think those of you who are familiar with rice understand the problem caused by stem borer. And next, the brown plant hopper. Okay. And brown, brown plant hopper is also a vector for other disease uh, in, in plants. Okay. Then we come to the third type, disease resistant GMO rice. And there are three types being developed, a GMO rice resistant to the rice rabbit stun virus, bacterial blight, blast, and sheep blight. Okay? But these three kinds of new GMO rice under development will not be completed probably until 2011, 2012. The GMO rice we're dealing with today is of two kinds, the herbicide tolerant and the insect resistant. <coughs> I'm oh, sorry, first is the rice ragged and bacterial blight leaf for our friends who are very interested in rice, of course. Uh, the reason we show these photos, of course, is because when we have a discussion about do we need these GMO rice crops or not, there are friends here and many friends we work with who can tell you what are the sustainable, ecologically sound ways of dealing with these diseases, pests, and problems. So this is part of a presentation that's about well, what are the alternatives. 